over real quick here. Uh, so if you kind of gather around or grab a seat, whatever you're comfortable with there, we'd appreciate it. We're going to start off with uh, uh, a welcome. We're going to ask uh, Mr. Fred May, our uh, County Extension Council President, give our welcome for the proceedings today. Well, we're glad everyone is here. It's a hundred years of extension here in the county, and we're mighty proud to have had them. We've got a good staff here we're all proud of. There's a lot of work done in several different areas. And I'm not much of a speaker, so I'm not going to say any more. I'm going to turn it back to Greg and let him take care of it. <laughs> As Fred said, we are celebrating the uh, 100th year of extension in the nation, not just in Kentucky, but across the nation out here. 2014 marks the 100th anniversary of the passage of the Smith the Lieber Act, which formally established the National Cooperative Extension si Service System. The Cooperative, Cooperative Extension Service is an education partnership between the United States Department of Agriculture and the nation's land-grant universities that extend research-based knowledge to the citizens at the local level. Cooperative Extension is funded through a cooperative partnership between federal, state, and local governments. Throughout the history of the United University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service, say that fast real time if you can. <laughs> Countless agents have worked to help Kentuckians embrace change. Many of the duties of the first extension agents included helping farmers become stewards of the land and helping homemakers improve food preservation techniques so they and their families could lead healthier lives. Today, extension agents continue to work to make Kentuckians' lives better, but now their duties may include helping farmers keep up to date with the latest precision agriculture technology or guiding families as they navigate through the recent recession or teaching 4-Hers about the consequences of bullying. Despite the many social and technical and academic changes that have occurred in the past hundred years, one thing remains constant. The Kentucky, that Kentuckians can always turn to the County Ex Cooperative Extension Office for reliable, unbiased, research-based knowledge. Information on topics which impact their lives where there is, it is needed to know about bed bugs, or public speaking, or even money management in today's economy. Extension agents are there to assist our citizens in making the most informed decisions possible for themselves. For a hundred years, the Smith-Lieber Act has stimulated innovative research and vital education programs for youth and adults that have improved lives and shaped the nation. We're so glad that you have joined us today as we celebrate a hundred years of extending knowledge and changing lives. At this time, uh, Judge Executive Dave Johnson has a proclamation that he would like to sign. Would you like to come forward and read it? Yes. Judge? We would like all the Lord to come up with us. Council members? Uh, Linda? Anybody that's a council member that's here today, if you don't mind standing in with us? some of the proclamation I'm fixing to sign that makes this uh, official in Ohio County as well as in the United States and the state of Kentucky. Uh, whereas March the 8th, 2014, marks the centennial of the signing of the Smith Labor Act, 
uh, which established cooperative extension and nationwide transformational education system operating through uh, land grant uh, universities in partnership with federal, state, and local governments. Uh, thanks uh, cooperative extension volunteers who provide thousand hours to promote excellence in 4-H, master gardeners, family and consumer sciences, and others in programs in their community. Uh, encourages continued col collaboration and cooperation among federal, state, and local governments to ensure cooperative extension su sustainability as the nation's premier non-formal educational network. Celebrate millions of youth, adults, family, farmers, ranchers, community leaders, and others who engage in cooperative extension learning uh, opportunities designed to extend knowledge and change lives. So I will sign two copies of this, one I'll leave and one I'll take back to five. this uh, group and, uh, and, and uh, I think that the uh, group in the OI County is uh, exceptional and second to none in the whole United States. I truly believe that. So, thanks. We now ask, uh, I think uh, Mayor Charlotte Hendricks had a presentation as well.